I don't think it's going to really matter. I don't think most people, everything comes down to patient adherence. I don't think most people are going to do multiple injections of the same peptide at a different, at the same time to maybe get a minuscule tiny bit more benefit because theoretically what you're saying is true. But I, again, it's not practical. Do you want to add anything to that? It's a very interesting thought process. I think subcutaneous, it doesn't really matter because if you think of like the subcutaneous layer of fat across the whole body, if I inject it subcutaneously, like in the top of my belly, my love handle, like wherever, it's still going to that sub-Q fat and it's still going to disperse like pretty evenly. If I was taking like maybe, you know, like let's say an anabolic steroid or something like that and I was site injecting into my delts, I think you'd make the argument that you'd do like bilateral injection. So like split that up because you get like an equal hyperplasia response from the hormone that's getting injected intramuscularly to like how the muscle responds there. So you could like you would like rotate sites or you do like half the dose and one half dose and the other. Whenever I do L-carnitine, I like to do that sometimes like before training or something, you can do it bilaterally. So you do half the dose in one delt, half the dose in the other delt, half the dose in one glute, half the other. And I think that makes more sense for like an intramuscular injection type response to what you're looking for like muscle activation of whatever it's doing to help there. But I think for like a peptide injection, probably not.